Oh, here we go. Hello, Zebraheart, and welcome to Bloons TD6, the newest addition to the Bloons Tower Defense series. I am so excited for this. I haven't played a Bloons game in about a year or two now, so I've been really, really hyping myself up for this release. I wanna do a full series on this game, so if you enjoyed this first episode, you know what to do. Make sure you let me know in any way you can that you want to see more. And beyond that, let me know if you've tried out Bloons TD6 yet. What are your thoughts on it? Do you plan on getting it, or do you just enjoy the fact that you have it? I would love to hear all about it, all about your thoughts, but with all that being said, I can't handle it anymore. Let's go ahead and get started with Balloons Tower Defense 6. Okay, so let us just press the big green start button, an epic adventure of monkeys versus balloons. What is gonna happen? Now I know that there's a bunch of new mechanics. The balloons have taken over your town. Take it back. <laughs> okay. What a cinematic. Stop the balloons from getting through. All right. So what do I gotta do? Okay, so place a dart monkey to get started. So if you don't know, this is a traditional tower defense game, but with monkeys versus balloons. Place another dart monkey and then tap the play. So we're gonna go ahead and put another one right here. But what you might notice is that this uh, windmill right here is three dimensional. What that means is that if there is a balloon coming in from over here and I put our monkey over here, this monkey's view will be obstructed. So there's totally new gameplay mechanics in play here. So we're gonna go ahead and put two dart monkeys down and just sort of let these balloons come on in. Now I haven't played, like I said, a balloons game in a couple years. Uh, I'm a little rusty, to be honest with you. I'm not very good at tower defense games, but that's why I really wanted to do a full series on this game and really have a good time with it. Now you might notice that there is a little monkey next to the normal monkey. I don't know what his, he's about exactly right now, but it seems like there are some kind of hero idea going on. That was easy, right? Tap the play to start the next round. Okay, so is there any way I can upgrade the monkeys? Oh, like this. So right now I can't really upgrade him. It looks like we need experience to upgrade them. 100 experience for sharp shots. Is that, maybe 100 experience is 100 red balloons popped? Because on the top you can see he's popped 40 so far. And the other monkey hasn't gotten any action. He hasn't popped anything. So we can go ahead and do some extra speed like that. Very interesting. Popping balloons earns your monkey's experience. Uh, your dart monkeys have enough to unlock an upgrade. So this is cool. I can go ahead and do this one, I guess. Just do the first one. Oh, look at this. It's a whole skill tree. Dart monkey, experience 100. There was a single dart at nearby balloons. Short range and low pierce, but cheap. And then we have like some other ones. No, I didn't read the bottom part. Oh boy. Uh, didn't mean to do that. So there's also like different things. Okay, so we have sharp shots, quick shots, or long range shots, and we can work towards any of these. Very cool. So of course you can see we get some pretty cool upgrades for each one, which is super exciting. Um, I think that we'll go for something more expensive for now. We'll try the sharp shots, that'll like break more balloons. Great, you can now upgrade your existing monkey with that upgrade. So now that we've unlocked that, we can go ahead and give that to him, and then also give it to him so unlocks the upgrade for all of your dart monkeys. That's very cool. I think in the previous games it would have to be for each monkey individually. So that's very exciting. But that's all we can do for now. So we might as well start the next round and close that. So now I, we got enough balloons coming in, the blue balloons, which will have like a harder situation to get, get rid of. Like they'll have more layers to them. Need some help? Quincy is a monkey hero that upgrades himself during the game. He can pop several balloons per shot. Really, and he's 700, he's expensive. So we wanna put him in, you can really see here he gets blocked off by different things because of his vision. Um, so we probably wanna put him maybe here, because I feel like this is gonna be like the highest volume of traffic for balloons. I mean, we could put him like this and maybe really extend his range, but maybe not. We'll just sort of let the, the normal monkeys do their thing and Are put him somewhere like this. Nothing gets past my bow. Oh cool, he has voice what acting. Next? What next? I don't know, we'll have to find out. So we can already unlock level two for him, but let's read some information about Quincy here. Um, he is first or last, I don't really know what that means. But uh, he's level one, proud, strong, and intelligent, or intelligent. <laughs> Quincy uses his bow to perform feats of amazing skill. Base attack bounces up to, to up to four targets. Wow, so it bounces between balloons. I like that. So we could maybe even put more than one Quincy, is that the case? I don't know. For right now, we're just gonna move forward with this. Oh, this is so cool. I wanna play so much of this game. First episode might be a little bit short. We might just do a half an hour. Let's slow this down a little bit to see how these monkeys do. Uh, but episodes will be longer as we go about. Right now, my focus is just to learn the game, enjoy myself, and level up. Okay, cool. Is that for all of our monkeys or for Quincy? 
Uh, primary monkeys, choose a monkey to unlock. Bomb shooter launches a powerful bomb at the balloons. Uh, slow rate of fire, but affects a radius around the explosion. So we can choose any of these monkeys. Oh, that's so cool. I think we're gonna stick with the one to recommend it first. The bomb shooter is pretty cool. And there's a second one right there. Awesome stuff, I'm so excited. So we can't quite afford that, but that'll shoot out bombs that can just explode uh, balloons, which is very cool. So for right now, we, we don't have enough money to do too much. Uh, do we have enough for an, uh, oh, we do have enough for an upgrade for our dart monkeys, and that might be better. Like if we go to our thing here, we can either get quick shots or long range, and I think it would be better to get quick shots right now. We could also get razor sharp, but we don't have enough experience. So for right now, let's go ahead and do that. And then, you know what, let's get it all. <laughs> I want it all. It doesn't seem like there's a limit on how much you can upgrade. I mean, maybe eventually we'll have to choose between this set, because that's usually how it used to be, is you'd have to sort of choose between one and the other. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, I do like all the art, though. There's like a lot of really pretty art for this game. They really went all out with it. And the 3D art style is really nice as well, so I like that, but we can go ahead and purchase this here. Oh, so it does close the path. So like if we want you to be longer range, we can't make your shots quicker. So you can choose two paths though. Like maybe at some point it'll lock the other one off, I'm not really sure. We can unlock level three for you for 240. That sounds good, so it seems like he doesn't have other things beyond just leveling him up. He doesn't have a skill tree like the normal monkeys do. Activated abilities, you have activated, or you have an activated ability. These create powerful temporary effects to help you win. Choose carefully when to use them, however, as each one has a cooldown before it can be used again. Okay, so where is that? Where is the ability? Is it this? There's like the electric lightning bolt? Or is it this thing on the bottom left? We're gonna start around and sort of see. Oh, you know what, it probably is this. So I probably don't wanna do this one. Oh, what is, I don't know what the lightning bolt does. It doesn't seem to do anything at the moment. <laughs> okay, so we'll wait for now yes. before we use Quincy because he's sort of over here in the corner. Right now our monkeys are doing just great. So I'm just gonna keep going wave after wave. It's seven out of 10. So by the 10th round, I wanna be able to use Quincy. So I'm sorry I put him in a bad spot. I just didn't know how much it was gonna throw at us. I wanted to be as prepared as possible. It seems like my strategy is working quite nicely. What's up? Um, we can't level him up again until 700 coins, but we're getting there. Okay, so these guys are working. We got green balloons, but you might notice that when green balloons are popped, they turn into blue balloons, and then those balloons turn into red balloons. There's sort of different layers going on, which is always good to keep keep in mind. So it looks like maybe some of these are, yep, they're starting to make their way over to Quincy. So hopefully by this round 10, oh wow, they really do bounce. Level up, okay, we got another level. I like the monkey gives us a little thumbs up. Let's go ahead and get the boomerang monkey. Hurls a boomerang that follows a curved path. Good range and pierce. Very interesting. So of course, every tower has its own thing to do. Uh, one round to go. So I wanna sort of give this a shot, and we'll make it double speed for now. And when it seems like maybe the, the balloons are overwhelming us, which right now they're not. Maybe I'll just go ahead and try this. Okay, so he has like a superpower, but now that no balloons are in his area. Okay, I sort of understand. Now other monkeys have had those kind of like little upgradable, activatable abilities in other balloons games. Balloons TD5 I think had that for some of the super monkeys. You could activate it, it would go super fast for a little bit. But I guess I put Quincy in a bad spot. <laughs> Victory Town Center, we did it! Okay, so we got $100 as a reward. Welcome home. Oh, this is cool. So what do I do now? It looks like we got a jumping treasure chest. Let me get that first, because it's gonna distract me. We got 20 monkey money. Nice. So that's our daily reward. We get more things the more we sign on each day, which I definitely will be doing. So excited for that. And then we got like a little fountain in the center. We got this little monkey staring at me. Daily challenges unlock at level 20. Ooh, I like that. And then, anything else I can click on? Oh, oh, oh gosh, Ninja Monkey. <laughs> okay, I guess there's like little just features you can click on. Oh, uh, there's a Boomerang Monkey. Oh, there's cannons. Oh, this is so cool. I just wanna click around now and see what I can find. Um, okay, with all that being said, on the top left we have a little achievement. Very cool. We also have a store, it seems. I guess we can pay real money for the things. Uh, I'm not really too interested at the moment. I, I mean, I paid real money for the game. So, maybe at some point. It looks like there's like Insta Monkey Pack. What is this? Five monkey towers ready to place for no in game cash contains tier one, two, three. Let me know if there's anything here you're curious about that you would like me to showcase. Uh, if you don't know if it's worth your money, maybe I could showcase it and we'll get a good idea from there. And then it looks like we have like a collection here. You can see our different monkeys that we have unlocked so far. And there are so many of them. Apparently, there are some new, some old. I'm not really sure though. We'll find out together. 
Uh, and then we got our heroes. Now, this is the hero we just used. He's Quincy the Archer, activated abilities. He has rapid shot, storm of arrows, proud, strong, and intelligent. Yeah, so we already read all of that. Um, but what, what other information do we have here? I guess he unlocks like different abilities. Like at world at level three, he unlocked that one ability, but maybe that upgrades at level 10 and level 20. And then there are other monkeys as well, but we can't unlock them until we get to a higher level. But it looks like there's four monkeys to unlock in total. Maybe they'll add more soon. That'd be really cool. Uh, and then there's powers. What are these? Oh, we have to pay for these. Okay, so like this super monkey storm. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's a squadron of flying super powered laser demon monkeys who destroy every single balloon on screen and no and do big damage to mob class balloons. Wow, so if you feel like you're going against a really tough level, that's a good spot to you know go to is try to do one of those. Then we have knowledge. Monkey knowledge. Uh, knowledge unlock. You will start earning monkey knowledge points from level 30. So I guess this big inferno. Inferno ring upgrades get plus three burst radius. Interesting. So I guess we can improve our monkeys even farther? I can only imagine, very interesting. But for now, we're gonna go back in and try to play another level and see how things go. And that's sort of the idea of the game. There isn't really a specific story mode as much as you just keep playing the game and you keep learning and you keep going. So as you can see, there are different levels to sort of play and enjoy. There's a beginner, intermediate, advanced, and then expert. Hopefully there'll be more levels than even this. We'll have to sort of go in and find out and we'll just play as much as we want to, you know? Very cool. So we'll start doing a round on Monkey Meadow and we can choose our difficulty. We have easy, medium, or hard, and we get different types of rewards for each one. I think we're just gonna go right on in and do, like if I remember Balloons TD5, if you completed medium difficulty, you would still have to complete easy difficulty to get that completion marker. So maybe we should just start with easy today. That way I can't make any really dumb mistakes. Easy, on easy monkeys cost less than normal. The balloons move a little slower and you have 200 lives. Beating round 40 is easy. In easy awards you a bronze medal for that track. Okay. Maybe we should just try it. What are these other modes? Primary only, deflation, sandbo sandbox, this sounds cool. Maybe we should try medium then. On medium, monkeys cost normal. The balloons have move normal and you have 150 lives beating in round 60. In medium awards you the silver medal for that track. So we'll try this out and see how things go. Uh, we get a silver medal and it seems to be like your average level of play. So that's super exciting. So one thing I'm curious about is that we have these upgrades now. So those experience upgrades we were getting for the uh, normal dart monkey in the first level we played are permanent across the entire game. We never have to earn up that additional 100 experience to upgrade him ever again, which is really interesting. So it looks like there are monkeys moving around in this like figure eight and then all the way around over there. And there's no obstacles for this map, visually I don't think, unless this, oh gosh, what happened? Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Hold on, I wanna play the game I'm playing. Uh, unless this rock is in the way. Nope, that's a flat object. Okay, so yeah, there's no 3D things in the way. So we have to survive 60 rounds like this, so this might be a little bit of a long of an episode, but that's okay, that's exactly what I wanted. So let's go ahead and get started with all of that. We'll just try the normal dart monkeys and see what they do, but they're gonna have a hard time, you know, dealing with us, I think. So we'll go ahead and do that, and then we're gonna need a lot more experience if we want any of these. Like if we take a look, uh, actually no, we can afford them, he has a thousand experience. So we could try moving him to the Ultra Juggernaut for the final there, or maybe even the Plasma Monkey Fan Club. Yeah, that's what the little lightning bolt is for when they have an activatable ability. Oh, that is so cool. So let's go ahead and try to get razor sharp shots. I think that'll be good. And then maybe, uh, I, I don't know if we need a super long distance monkey at the moment, but maybe a very quick shot would be cool. Okay, so there we go, we'll, we'll build two different monkeys with that. That sounds like fun. And with all of that, we should be able to build out pretty well. And then after that, we'll get our hero, because I definitely wanna try to get the hero working in any way we can. So we have to survive 60 rounds like this. Hopefully it turns out okay. I think it'll be just fine. But like I said before, I hope you guys are enjoying this first episode so far. Be sure to let me know. You get one cash for every layer of balloon you popped, plus some bonus at the end of each round. Cool. So we should be able to afford an upgrade. But yeah, let me know if you wanna see more episodes of this series. I'm having so much fun, and hopefully you are too. And yeah, we'll try to just keep on showcasing more monkeys, more heroes, and just have as good of a time as possible. So for right now, I'm gonna keep on keeping on. I'm gonna, I wanted you to have the quick shots. So let's go ahead and do this before we do anything else. And we'll try to make these monkeys strong, and then we'll worry about getting our hero out, and then we'll just stay with that combo for a little bit. And as the f things get crazier and crazier, we'll add more and more upgrades for sure. But of course, like I said, I'm not the, the balloons master or anything. I don't know 
everything. So definitely your guys' feedback will be super helpful if you see something I could be doing better. Feel free to let me know. I love your guys' feedback. We got the tax shooter this time I think we'll get. Right, or yeah, we should get the tax shooter. Um, shoots a, a short range volley of sharp tacks in eight directions. So a lot of these I'm familiar with, but it's cool to see them make a return. Okay, so we have $400. Um, I can go ahead and give you this at the least. I know I can give them both like doubled up stuff here before it closes the other path. So we'll go ahead and do that. These guys seem pretty powerful now. Maybe we'll get Quincy out at this point. That could be pretty good. I wish there was like a thing you could do to pay to move a monkey, because I'm like sort of like thinking about my strategy, like, oh, that could have been better. But I think it's fine. You can sell a monkey, you don't get as much money back as as, as much as you put in. That's okay. So we got upgrades. Okay, that's what that does. Tap and hold upgrade icons to get more info. Really? Shoots 50% faster. Okay. And then shoots 33% faster. Shoots or throws three darts at a time instead of one. Converts the dart monkey into a spike a pole that hurls a large spiked ball instead of darts. Good range, but slower attack speed. Each ball can pop a lots of balloons. Very interesting. Okay, I like it. So I think we're gonna leave these monkeys how they are, unless it seems like we're getting overwhelmed. But even then, they have to make like a full rotation around that one spot, and then they can get away. So we have a lot of work to do before, or they have a lot of work to do before they can get there. So if I can just earn up 700 to throw down Quincy, that would be super exciting. I'm probably gonna put him in the center around this way. I think that would be pretty good. So I don't have much of like a pointer to indicate what I, may, I mean. So I just use the little dart monkey there so I can sell him if I accidentally place him. Okay, so we have enough for Quincy. No, why does it keep doing that? That's weird. Sorry, I'm new to iPads. I bought an iPad practically just to play this game. So, boom. That shouldn't be too bad. I think that's a good spot for him. Nothing gets past his bow. Cool. So yeah, he has these like little combo shots. If we slow it down a little bit, you can see it bounces from balloon to balloon. So that's a very cool yes. little thing. So he starts at level one, unlike the other monkeys. No, he just went to level two all by himself. Oh, because we've already paid for it in the past, he just automatically levels up then. Weird. I'm trying to figure that out then. So it's almost like, I guess yeah, it's all around an RPG. It's not really about just this level. The more you use a certain monkey, the more upgrades you unlock for it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Is that it seems like it's all about building things up game after game after game. I thought that maybe the heroes would be like that, but the normal monkeys would be fresh every time, but that's not how it is. And that's not a problem. I just think it's very interesting. So we're level five in total now, which is really cool. And we can get another monkey. So we're gonna go ahead and get the ice monkey. Pops and freezes nearby balloons for a short time. Frozen balloons are immune to sharp damage. Wow. Uh, can't freeze white or zebra or lead balloons. My favorite balloon right there. Okay, so there's another one. Let's keep moving. So this is super exciting. I'm having so much fun. I love this game a lot already. So I definitely will be playing a lot of it. I hope you guys are excited for that. But we got lots of cash at this point. We should probably go ahead and put our experience to something. So I'm gonna go ahead and get razor sharp shots for you guys. You have 2,550 experience. So unlocking this for 1,900 shouldn't be too bad. We already read a description of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that to you. But you, you're gonna get the other one once we can afford to pay for the experience. We have a lot of money, but we could always save it up. But we can unlock level four for you. That's new for us. That's very cool. Uh. And we should be good. I mean, we're getting a little overwhelmed, so I could try doing that and start up another round quickly. I don't know how well it did. <laughs> I don't know if we can get like a description on what it does anywhere, because I forget already. But uh, yeah, I'm just trying to make sure everything is going well. It's looking like we're gonna need another monkey soon or another balloon. If I go to my upgrades, we do need a good chunk more experience for this. It costs 2,000, so we need a little less than 700 more. For now, we'll keep going. Oh, whoa, whoa, no, 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 I wanted to read that. Okay, those were heart-shaped balloons. Oh boy, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to slow down the game so I could read it because things were still moving. Um, I think that they just take more hits because not only is the health indicated by the color, but the speed of which the balloon moves is also indicated by the color. So I'm guessing those heart ones, while they move the same, like a green heart balloon, with the same speed as a normal green balloon, it'll have more health. No, I don't want to open another app. I want to check out, not the, the, the buccaneer monkey, but uh, I don't know. Um, so we could probably start introducing some other monkeys now. I wanna go ahead and buy this upgrade for level five. That's cool. I mean, maybe he upgrades, maybe I'm getting that confused. Maybe he levels up all by himself, but I am buying a speedier upgrade. Is that what is happening? I think so. 
Okay, that's not a bad thing exactly. I was just, I think I was getting a little confused there. So let's go ahead and unlock this for 2,000 experience. And that was the throws three darts instead of one. So eventually he's gonna become a super monkey fan club uh, monkey. But that's 9,500. So we're a little far away from that, but that's okay. Game after game, we'll slowly earn that up and it'll be a lot of fun. So we're gonna go ahead and give you that. Very cool. I love your little, like you look so focused up there in a little icon. So we could try a dart shooter. I think a good place for a dart shooter would probably be either in this corner, maybe here. I mean, I guess like wherever the most sides possible be can be covering, but we sort of have these, there's like one little spot around here somewhere, right there. That's gonna be good. Okay, so we're all out of cash now, so this should be pretty good though. Quincy's gonna do his thing. All of our other dart monkeys are working super hard, so we can get, rid of th th get through these balloons super duper quick. Ooh, black balloons. Black balloons are small yet contain two pinks inside of them. Also, black balloons are immune to explosions, so I'm glad we didn't get the cannon just yet. Because the cannon wouldn't have been so good. But it looks like we got our level six, so we can choose our last monkey here, which is the glue gunner. Shoots a blob of sticky glue that slows down, uh, that slows balloons down by 50%. So now we have like a huge selection of different monkeys, which is really exciting. And there's more coming soon. I just don't know how to unlock those ones. There are tons. Oh my gosh, it's super exciting. So let's go all the way back and just get to it. And like I said, we'll probably start upgrading this once we have enough experience. Right now we don't have much because by the time the balloons reach the tack shooter, uh, most of the other guys have been dealing with it. White balloons, white balloons are like black balloons but are immune to ice effects. Wow, okay, so it would be interesting if we could see what balloons are coming up soon, but we can't quite do that at the moment. I don't know if there's ever, it'd be cool if there was a tower that told you which balloons are coming up. I thought that'd be helpful for a lot of people. I don't know. Anyways, oh, we got camo balloons, important. Camo balloons cannot be affected by your monkeys unless they have a way to detect them. For example, Quincy can at level five, uh, or Quincy can at level five, and dart monkeys can with the enhanced eyesight upgrade. So only Quincy can handle those at the moment. And I think we didn't get the proper eyesight upgrade for the normal dart monkey, so we might wanna get another one. Yeah, right here. So let's go ahead and unlock that, even if we can't quite afford the uh, Juggernaut, we're not gonna be able to in a while anyway. So I think we should get a third monkey out here and give him enhanced eyesight. That way he can actually get rid of these camo balloons with Quincy a little bit easier. Cause I feel like that's a bit of a risk. I think a lot of games are lost to uh, camo balloons. So let's go ahead and just do that. Apparently, oh we can get the crossbow already as well. What does this do? Use a long range crossbow that can pop three layers of balloons for every hit. Sure. I like it. And then the next thing you have a sharpshooter, super monkey fan club, juggernaut, they're all super crazy expensive. So we're gonna get them eventually. Well, wow, that's a lot of experience right there. Okay. For now, we're just gonna go ahead and give you that. And then maybe, we'll see, make your shop, sh shots super sharp. There we go. That should be good. I need to keep moving forward. Oh gosh, did I just almost sell a monkey? I don't know. But we can start upgrading that. We'll, we'll wait a little bit. I wanna make sure we speed through this one because we're not even halfway through all of our rounds. We'll definitely do this and then we'll probably be done for the day. Oh, those were like weird looking balloons. Were they purple? I mean, I think we've seen purple ones before. The, just the color of them was weird. Maybe it's just because they're moving so quickly. Okay, so yeah, let's focus on the uh, attack shooter. If we take a look, we have faster shooting, shoots attacks faster. Long range attacks, attacks fly out further than normal. And then we have more attacks. Shoots 10 attacks instead of eight. I think for right now, long range and um, I think faster would be good. Okay, so that's all we can afford for him right now. We'll keep you know buying more and more for him as much as possible. So the other one is close. Hey, look, we got zebra balloons. It didn't tell me anything about zebra balloons, so come on. Oh, we got level, oh, level seven. So we have a new choice of different monkeys. We can choose a monkey to unlock. I'm sort of trying to unlock them in the order that they show up in the selection on the bottom, which the next one would be sniper monkey then. Um, can shoot balloons, it can see anywhere on the screen with a long range rifle and pops two layers of balloons hit by it. We're getting so many monkeys, I can't keep up with it. It's so exciting. But the next monkey would be the submarine monkey. Oh, he was one of my favorite. No, I didn't read the see the zebra balloons. Oh man, I'm missing all these messages because there's so much stuff popping up. I wanted to learn about the zebra balloons. I know they pop into like a bunch of different balloons. They're very cool. <laughs> I wonder why I think that. There couldn't be any possible explanation. Anyways, uh, lead balloons, lead balloons, or lead balloons, they are made of metals and so can't be hurt by sharp things. Try bombs. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead and do this. Okay, that's a bit of a problem, but we were able to save ourselves. That's why I really like this map. 
you know, now we can place this guy here and we'll have like a second chance to hit everything. We'll go ahead and activate your move. Actually, I'm glad I didn't because there's only one red balloon left. Okay. Okay, that got really scary. I'm so glad we were able to survive it. So we have a lot of money coming in, just not a lot of experience for some of these guys. And this is gonna take time. But this will give it a lot of experience for you just because you're able to pop all these leads all by yourself. Okay, so bigger bombs, faster reload, extra range. Let's do faster reload for right now. Reload is 25 or 20% faster. Sounds good to me. And we can't afford anything else for you. That's fine. Boom, pay for that. Oh, and then what about you? Can't something. can't quite afford anything. Yeah. See, you're leveling up without me having to pay for it. I just was paying a little bit too soon. I think that's yeah. the case. We'll just sort of keep this up and see what ends up happening. And there's some more zebra balloons. Level up, okay, we're level eight now. So the next one is gonna be the sub, or the monkey sub. Uh, shoot, have I been calling the monkey zombies? I did that in my Balloon CD Battles series, just because, I don't know, this game reminds me a lot of Plants vs. Zombies. I'm sorry I've been sometimes called the monkey zombies. I don't mean to. Uh, shoots homing torp, torpedo arts. Oh, I get it, like torpedoes, torpedo arts, at nearby balloons must be placed in water. So we can't actually use him this level, but I wanna unlock them all in order. So next one's gonna be the uh, monkey buccaneer. And then we got the Monkey Ace and Heli Pilot. Okay, very cool stuff. Uh, we're gonna keep moving. I'm gonna do more long range tacks, I think. Man, you are expensive. Actually, let's do this first. Just do it all in order. Sounds right to me. So how close are you to level seven? You are definitely closer to level seven. So I was confused about that before. I thought I had, like you would get a level up, but I couldn't activate it until I bought it. That's not true. You saw one camel balloon back in round 24. Hope you're ready for more. I'm trying to be. That's why I have this guy. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and upgrade you as much as we can. So do that. Wow, these are interesting looking cannons. <laughs> um, so this one uh, shoots larger bombs. They have a larger blast area and more popping power. Reloads 25% or 20%. I don't know why I wanna say 25. 20% faster. Uh, increases attack range. Let's go ahead and unlock that one as well. Next one will be this one. We'll wait for that in a little bit. So we probably want longer range. It's sort of far back, we wanna make sure we're ready for it. Oh, here come the camel balloons out. We're dealing with them though. Quincy's got it. And then we still have that other uh, crossbow monkey now. Oh, it's so cool. Uh, warning, camel balloons. More camel balloons on the way. You must prepare your defenses. There are lots of ways to pop camel balloons. Try these upgrades. Dart monkeys, enhanced eyesight, or sniper monkey, night vision goggles. Look for other uh, others with camel balloons in the upgrade icons. Very cool. So yeah, we can pop camel balloons plenty fine now, so we don't have to worry about it too much. We do have experience for this stuff. We have uh, even faster shooting, shoot sacks even faster. That's 500 for the experience, so I'll just spend all of my experience on that and just upgrade it. There we go. That is awesome now. I, I really like it. Level nine, or level up, level to nine. And look at the monkey, monkey buccaneer. Shoots a single heavy dart from both sides of the ship. Must be placed in water. So we can't use you just yet, but I have used, I know in the past in Bloons TD5, I would jump at the chance to always use the buccaneer sub, submarine combo. That was always fun. But uh, we'll see what we can do with all this. We have so much money now that we could just buy another monkey. But I'm thinking we should. Like, there's a lot of balloons coming in. So if we wanted to try something different, I think the best thing we could possibly do is try just everything in order. Try an ice monkey at this point. Start freezing some of them, and they all get stuck in place like that, which is really cool. So that'll be helpful for some of these bigger, hardier balloons. But it can be harder to actually bust them once they're frozen. But it does just give us more time in... in in general, which is really nice. And we're a little more than halfway, we're at round 36 out of 60, so we have a lot more work to do. And this is probably gonna go slower than most other ones. We have enough experience for the Juggernaut now. Um, this this level I'm going through a little bit slower because I have to do all these upgrades and read what everything is. Uh, hurls a giant spiked ball that excels at crushing ceramic balloons. Unlock for 75,000. Very cool, 7,500, not 75, 7,500, I'm, I'm a dingus, I'm sorry. There we go, got that one. Now you have experience as well. You have uh, balloons move slowly even after thawing out. That sounds really good for 160, I'll take it. And then you don't have enough for anything. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? What do you want? <laughs> okay, so we can't quite afford this one. Uh, heavy duty bombs can smash through two layers of balloons at once. Oh, the missile launcher, I wanna see that. Uh, shoots missiles instead of bombs. Missiles fly faster with longer range. Cool. Explosions throw out sharp 
fragments that can pop balloons, including black balloons. Okay, let's go ahead and try that one. I think that one sounds fun. So we got that now, we can go ahead and purchase it. And we're gonna keep moving, I think. I mean, I have to wait around for all of the all the all the other ones to be ready to be upgraded. I can go ahead and buy that. Forgot to do that. I forget that unlocking it and buying it are two different things. But yeah, now this thing has much longer range, and I think this guy can actually break leads now too. So lots of awesome stuff happening all over the place. We're just gonna keep moving. Ceramic balloons. Ceramic balloons are covered in a shell of hardened clay, which physically makes no sense. How are they still floating? And take several hits to pop. I mean, how are balloons within balloons as well? And how are the lead balloons? Why didn't I question that one? Zebra, you are being uh, one-sided. <laughs> Trying to find the right word for it. Okay, so we just gotta let everybody ex get their experience. We gotta level up. It should be one last monkey here. Oh, we got 50 monkey monkey, never mind. End of next round has re, has two rego, regrow re, rainbow balloons. Oh, maybe that's what the hearts do, is that they regrow their health if you take too long to beat them up. Okay, so regrow rainbow, which is a massive tongue twister, might be a bit of a difficult thing to deal with. I mean, these are just normal, oh gosh. You know what, Quincy, let's use your power up. Whoa, look at him go! Oh, that's so cool! I like it. First Moab class balloon next round, don't say you weren't warned. Okay, we got ourselves a Moab, which I always forget what Moab stands for, so we're gonna make it up now. Many uh, offensive, awesome balloons. There you go. Uh, fear the Moab balloons. These floating fortresses of fear take loads of hits to pop, and when they do, release ceramic balloons. Oh my. Oh, oh gosh, he's sounding really scared there. Uh, so who can we afford to upgrade? First off, before we do anything more, let's do enhanced freeze. He gets a little earmuffs. Attacks faster and freezes for longer, 160 experience. I'll take it, buy it. I'm just trying to slow things down as much as I can so I can keep up with all the possible upgrades I can give this thing. Uh, super range tax, even longer range tax. We'll buy that for five, yeah, for 500. And then give it to him. And then I just need to, I wish I could buy a second Quincy right now. Okay, hold on. Uh. Let's do that, because we're actually having a hard time right now. We're gonna get, oh gosh. I was not ready for that at all. Oh my gosh, we just took tons of damage. How's our health? Top left, 100. We had 150 before, so that's really bad. So definitely, I need to start spending some of this money, not be so greedy. Let's try a boomerang monkey, and we'll put him, I think here is pretty good. Uh, and yeah, let's just, you know what? I should probably get one of each monkey out. That way we're getting experience for all of them so we can glue them, we can slow them down. We can get a sniper monkey way just over here in the corner because he can shoot anybody from anywhere. That's why he has a tiny little range like that because it doesn't matter. We can't do either of these guys. So yeah, we'll go ahead and try that. Maybe even get like a second one out for more experience. Okay, so that was really tough. But now we know, we have been warned like they've said. Very cool. So we're gonna have to, after this round, we'll check out all of our upgrades, what we can afford, because right now, that's sort of the big thing, is that like I have plenty of money. I'm gonna do another Sniper Monkey. I really like Sniper Monkey, he's one of my favorites. Coming up, Rego Rainbow Balloons and Camel Rainbow Balloons. You all sorted for this? I sure hope so. So, who can be upgraded? Anybody? It'd be cool if they like had like a little green glow to them when they could be upgraded or something. Looks like you can. We can afford the Missile Launcher for 650 experience, but as you can see, shoots missiles instead of bombs, missiles fly faster with no with longer range. Okay, very cool. So we'll go ahead and buy that right now, if I can. Boom, got it. Anybody I'm else Quincy, around here? Son of Quincy. Son of Quincy? <laughs> you got named after your father? Okay, so, oh, we got the camel balloons. Whoa, they moved quick. Okay, that's a problem. I need another sight monkey. So we're gonna go ahead and do this and then quickly, there we go, <laughs> sped that up real quick. We got him. So I'm still making a lot of mistakes. We got level 11 in though, so I can do Monkey Ace or Heli Pilot. I think I need to do Monkey Ace now. Flies above the ground shooting volleys of high pierce darts. Cool. So we could do that. I just wanna see like who has upgrades available. You guys have Full Metal Jacket. What is this? Uh, shots pop through four layers of balloons can pop lead and frozen balloons. Nice, okay, so let's go ahead and do that one. Uh, anybody else got some upgrades available? I, oh, let's go ahead and just buy that for you. Nobody else is seemingly having an upgrade right now. It'd be really nice if I could just have like a screen that shows me. I mean, I guess we could go through like this, but this isn't really any more effective. It looks like I can't afford this out. This is, uh, shoots out 12 tacks per shot. Unlocked for 490. I can't give it to him this time. 
because I already got the other ones. But we could get another tax shooter out and try that out a little bit. I don't know where I want to put him. Maybe in this corner, maybe in that corner. Maybe even like up here. This one sounds like a nice de defensive spot. So we'll go ahead and do that one. And then we'll also do faster shooting. We really don't need to be long range. So I feel like that's a good combo. And let's get to it. So we do have Quincy's upgrade again if we need it. I don't know if we do. Right now there's a lot of balloons out. And I'm just really trying to make sure we're as ready for them as possible. Maybe getting another cannon out and trying to do the other upgrade would be good. Putting him wherever he can fit really, but trying to figure out where that might be best. I guess here's fine. But you did the bottom two, so if we could do the top two for you, just like that. Actually, we're starting to run low on cash for once. Oh no, I don't have the experience for that one, Never mind. Okay, so we'll give that a shot. And we got tons of action going on with the monkeys, so I think things are going well. Oh, I, I never actually bought these for you guys. Let's go ahead and do that. I always forget that. Oh, okay, so it does seem like on the bottom left you can see who needs upgrades. What's this? These balloons have extra armor. Oh my. What balloons were those? Man, I, I don't mean to actually accidentally tap through all of that. I'm so sorry. But it looks like you can be upgraded. So let's go ahead and see what you got. You have, can pop up the eight balloons per throw. Cool. It's better than nothing. I'll take it. And then the sniper monkeys have an upgrade. Ah, that makes a lot more sense to me. So, if I go ahead and unlock some of these, I know we're just sort of doing it in the middle of action, but I gotta do it. Allow snipers to detect and shoot camo balloons. That sounds really good to me. So go ahead and do that. So we won't be able to do that third one. You know, maybe I'll do like two of these, and then we'll get another sniper out, and we'll do two of the other kind. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna do and then leave the bottom two parts. We're not gonna give those guys the camo goggles to see what the other things are, you know? Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay, so, oh, the cannons can upgrade, and we got a heli pilot. Hovers wherever you last half the screen, shoots from the from twin heavy dark guns. Very cool. Awesome. So I have like lots of options, and I'm trying to figure out what's best. Right now, we do have more upgrades for the uh, ice monkey, a larger freeze area I'll take and that's all I can afford at the moment. And then the cannons, what can the cannons do? They can be upgraded, of course, but we have the uh, heavy duty bombs that can smash for two layers at once. I'm gonna unlock that for a thousand experience and then sort of make our way through with all of this. It's so expensive. Uh, I mean, I guess it's just that all of the balloons are being sort of spread out through everybody, but we can go ahead and do that and everybody should be pretty well upgraded. Oh, we can buy this now, which is shoots faster than normal. Let's go ahead and go for that. And like I said, that those are gonna go to the bottom two. So if we go like this, and, oh, can I not afford that one? Oh no, I'm getting it mixed up. There we go. They're a little close together, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay, so maybe this will be a little bit better, but I think we just need a stronger and stronger team. I'm trying to save my money for when I need it, but at this point, I might just go ahead and deal with what I got. Uh, Might need Quincy to power up here. Let's go ahead and make Quincy power up. Oh, that did really good. He just cleared the whole field with those guys. Okay, so more experience for everybody. It looks like you can upgrade one ability, but I wanna upgrade your second one. So you should have that by the end of the round. It looks like the experience isn't gifted until by the end of it. I mean, if I have extra cash, I can use the level up Quincy, but it's a little too expensive. Okay, come on, come on. I think level nine has, I don't know. Level 9 for Quincy has an extra power-up or something, or improves the power-up maybe. Okay, so we got monkey money, pretty good. That's always useful. So tons of monkeys have some upgrades now. We can go ahead and check out some of these. We can have our top one right here, which is Metal Freeze, uh, which can freeze and pop lead balloons. Sounds great to me, we'll take it. Wow, you are so buff in that one, I like it. <laughs> I like this dude, he's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do that. And then who else can get some upgrades? The Boomerang Monkey again. We're gonna go ahead and do throws 20% uh, 20 20 faster. We don't really need too much range on him at the moment. Cause he's getting that little corner, which is really the best thing for him. We got the Glue Monkey finally getting an upgrade. He got some 167 experience. Uh, unlock for 150 experience. Glue soak, bigger gloves, stickier glue. Let's do this one. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's how the upgrade system in BTD5 worked, is that it was per game, but maybe I'm getting it wrong. Maybe I'm misremembering possible. I mean, a lot of uh, tower defense games usually work that way, where it's like every game is like a new game. So what kind of upgrades can we get for the Sniper Monkeys? Large caliber. Shoots can pop through seven layers of balloons. That is crazy. So let's go ahead and give that to the top two. I mean, I guess I could give it to all of them. Yeah, let's just go ahead and give it to all of them. Sounds good to me. <laughs> 
And then maybe we should try some of these other monkeys a little bit. Like this guy, he's gonna fly around. And then the helicopter monkey, right there. <laughs> Tear him up, boys! Okay, awesome. So is the helicopter monkey even flying? Oh, I move him around, I forgot about that. Is there any way I can just make him do it all by himself? Like, follow touch, patrol points, lock in place. Let's do, let's, uh, control points. Let's put it there and there. You know what, no, no, no. Okay, so I can, yeah, I remember this. So we're gonna go ahead and make him patrol there and there. And let's go back and forth and tear it up that way. And you can do a circle, you can do a figure eight, you can do a figure infinite. Circle, figure eight. I think we're gonna do a figure in infinite. I think that'll be the best. Oh, we got another Moab. Okay, so let's go ahead and make Quincy do his thing. Destroy these balloons. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Nice, okay, good job, everybody. So already we have some upgrades for some guys. Uh, I wanna hold on for the first one, because that usually makes the most sense. Can I like give you more, what is the plus button? Oh, can I pay for it? Purchase failed. Yeah, I don't wanna make a money purchase right now. So I'm glad that failed. <laughs> I wanna play the game normally. Okay, so yeah, let's see who else can be upgraded. Right now, yes, the dart monkey can be upgraded. Which one? Um, Upgrades. Nice, we got the Super Monkey Fan Club for 9,500 experience. If we take a look at this, Super Monkey Fan Club ability converts up to 10 nearby dart monkeys, including himself, into super monkeys for 10 seconds. So what we wanna do is probably get a lot of normal monkeys and pour that all in so we got tons of super monkeys. That sounds so cool. Okay, so who can become the Super Dart Monkey Fan? You, but it's $8,000. So we wanna, after we get that, we wanna put a whole bunch of normal monkeys around him, um, if we can manage. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, you know what, Quincy, you don't have your upgrade right now. This is bad. Um, I, oh, did we just lose? Oh, we lost, okay. So clearly, I have a lot to learn. I didn't put out as much monkeys as I thought I needed to. So definitely, lots of learning experience there. I can't wait to play more. But I think that's probably where we're gonna wrap it up. If you guys have any advice for me, I'd love to hear. But I think that'll probably keep, keep going with easy and sort of see how that goes. Um, and move forward with that. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Bloons Tower Defense 6. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra Monkeys or any of watch at the end that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.